Hello and welcome back to Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I'm still not sure where I should be positioning the colon in that uh, title, incidentally. So, yeah, I still don't know what skills you want, but yeah, in terms of upgrades, I definitely want the uh, targeting matrix. Master Gunner again. Still don't know what skills you want, though. Still, you need an upgrade as well, and... What are you armed with? Lance batteries and macro batteries, so... Actually, an additional teleportarium would be useful, because you do close in and do a lot of boarding action-y type stuff, so that's good. So I might increase the quality of your ratings as well to increase your troop value. Excellent. So yeah, your troop value is 66 as opposed to yours, which is only 60, which is fair enough. Because once we start getting favours, because I know what favours are, basically it allows you to choose between four variants, and each one's related to a different you know, sub-group of the Imperium. So no, one of them's uh, the Adeptus Mechanicus, one of them's the Adeptus Astartes, one of them is the Inquisition, and I don't know what the other one is off the top of my head. But I'm assuming the one where you get Space Marine support probably massively boosts the quality of your troop value. That would make sense to me. Let's go back to the Gothic sector. So yes, we look to have unlocked all the sort of zones now. Just based on the fact that you know it's it's now covering the whole of the top of the uh, screen. So. Alrighty then. So I probably ought to try and keep a lid on the orc threat, shouldn't I? So what do we got? Fighting the orcs, data recovery, which I don't particularly want to do. So let's do a breakthrough fighting against the orcs. As it them attempted to break through us, or us attempted to break through them. Uh, we are the defender. And we've fleets trying to break through a blockade. Destroy those ships before they reach my planet. Fair enough. Protect the defense platforms long enough or destroy enough enemy line ships. The enemy is composed of orcs, which means we're going to have to deal with a lot of ramming and that kind of bollocks. That's like, I've yet to actually manage to pull off a uh, ramming maneuver. So, once again, battle cruiser, heavy cruisers. And do we want one of our light cruisers as well? Hmm. <laughs> I'm tempted to say no, but I probably should bring one just in case. So let's actually let's bring you because you're at least equipped for moderate scouting. Yes, that's what I was get. I've remembered the uh, upgrade I was going to get for uh, my Overlord class ship. Unfortunately, I don't think I can go back to Portmore now. Damn it. <laughs> I would remember it when it's too late to do it. It's going to get the stationary uh, auger upgrade. The one with a massive range, which would actually be useful here. Oh, God, look at those ships. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, I just, I, I nerd out about these things. Okay, so we got nominal four platforms to cover. So we're going to concentrate our fleet. We're going to spread our fleet out a little bit, so... There, with you at the back with our battle cruiser. Alright. So, we have a not insignificant number of enemies coming from waters. Alright, gentlemen. Yes, we Admiral. hold. No matter what... Yep, to uh, quote Gandalf. Awaiting orders! No matter what comes through those gates, you hold. Yes, Admiral. Enemy ships sighted! You are men of the Imperial Navy. Okay, three small ships, which are Ship barely ready. even worth mentioning. Torpedo barrage, Setting fire. Course. Bring broadside weapons to bear Burn and hold retros. position. 
At your command. Oh, your orders. Sorry. That was an epic uh, cock up on my part. <laughs> I suspect that's the most damage this battle cruiser is going to take in this uh, mission, and it was done by my own sodding uh, yes, torpedo barrage. Whoopsie diddles. At your command. Where the hell are their heavier ships? Because they have to have heavier ships than this. Come on. Yo, even orcs aren't crazy enough to uh, try orders. and hold this. Feel the wrath of the Imperial Navy. I mean, they're, they're crazy, but they're not completely stupid. Well. To be fair, it depends which one is Setting that the one is, is, is going to be an issue, I suspect. Enemy ship sighted! Oh boy. Yep. You're the biggie. Enemy ship sighted! Yes, Admiral. Battle cruiser, move to intercept. Your orders? Ship crippled, Admiral. Lightning strike, focus on yes, his generators. Ship ready. Lightning strike. Focus on their engines. Awaiting orders. These guys like ramming maneuvers, so taking out their engines is a pretty sensible precaution. Dude, I, I, I've never. What's the point of a short-range warp if that's its limit? If that's its range? So little it can actually get you out of the line of fire. Cruising right. speed set. At your command. Okay, they are kind of slaughtering Ship our platforms. Ready. Because I can't do a damn thing to uh, defend them. Ship effectively. triple, Admiral. We lost a defense platform. Close in. Yes, Admiral. God damn it. At your command. A lot of the uh, green factory. Acquiring new of the green skins. Orders no. received. If I turn you on a goddamn attack vector, turn on we that goddamn attack platform. vector. Yes, in typical bloody orc fashion, their your entire orders? tactic consists of ramming stuff until it dies. Your orders? For the Emperor! Cruiser Terror. Awaiting orders! Ship ready! Boarding parties deployed. No. Helm coordinates acknowledged! Initiate emergency repairs! Yeah, I suspect we're about to get bull rushed. Awaiting orders! At your command! Macro warp jump, go. Course plotted. Execute Shape rapid high turn. energy turn. Go, 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 go. At your command. Activating tactical cogitators. Torpedoes, fire. Cruising speed set. Come on, come on. Okay, couple of clean torpedo hits. Ship ready. Admiral. Resuming normal functions. Initiate ramming speed. Come on, come on, come on. Engines hot. Yes. High speed ram, nice. I mean that turret's going down, but cruising speed set. Yeah, they're they're getting through. Yes, Taken out their biggest ship, but they've still we got the more than enough firepower. We lost a defense platform. Yeah, all they do is prevent the line ships from reaching the escape zone. Oh, thank you, marvelous. Activating tactical cogitators. Where the hell are you? There, there you are.
your orders. All right, if we can destroy him, they won't actually be able to get Activating enough line ships through to actually taken. win. Awaiting orders. Come on. Ship ready. Close to 9k, damn it. Have to take him out. Yes, Admiral. No, the cannon strike. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. He's running for it. If he runs, that's Admiral. Yes. They no longer have enough capital ships to uh, win. Whew! Bloody hell, that was close. Yay us! That was a lot tighter than I would have liked. <laughs> We're really close to ranking up to uh, level 6 as well, which hopefully will get us some spiffy new ships. <sighs> and for the first time ever, I actually managed to pull off a ramming maneuver. Yeah, I'm saving after that one. That was close. And as I say, you know, if you notice that the saves aren't consistent with the ones you see, keep in mind that I usually save in between, you know, recording parts. Yeah, so so uh, don't worry about that. You haven't missed anything. Though, admittedly, if any of you are paying enough attention to notice that, I'd be bloody surprised. And a little impressed, but mostly surprised. Okay. You are using macro batteries. You already have armor-piercing macro batteries, so I'm tempted to give you... Uh, Give you extra turrets so you'll be a bit more defensive. And upgrade your servitors. Yes, you are the one I think you are. So, yes, you want servitors. You want the auger probe. Send a probe to reveal the position of enemy ships. Uh, no, nope. what was it that? It was a stationary device that has a detection range of 10,000 units. I want that. And what the hey, I might as well have that as well, because it's kind of useful in certain situations. Also going to want... I'll be pr Yeah, I'll probably get either that or that. Possibly both. <laughs> or, correction, I'll be getting... That will be my priority. That will be the secondary one. Because it's got... Yes, yeah, so that would increase its detection range by 50%, which is well worth having. Alright. So three battles and you're doing very nicely out of it, because you are just badass. Alrighty then. So what else we got? Assassination data recovery. Again, I feel like I should be trying to keep a lid on the green skins. Probably also do with... Convoy mission. Is that one of ours or one of theirs? Yeah. So we're trying to uh, destroy more than half the transport ships. The enemy is composed of all ships. Enemy convoy carrying resources. So yes, so we need to take out their uh, ships. So I think we can handle that. And the way to do that is to completely and utterly ignore the enemy uh, ships and just focus purely on blowing the hell out of their uh, you know, teeny little ships as they try to run. Do I want more of you guys? I'm tempted to say no because I could do with the extra renown. But the on this one, the frigates will actually be useful, because while the ships of the line distract the enemy, the frigates focus their fire on uh, the orcs, or on the transports. So 
she'll get immediate intel on where they are, right? Because knowing orcs, their transport ships will be full mostly of troops. Bloody hell, that's a lot of them. I only had three the last time we did one of these missions. Right. So... Nope, we don't get to know where they're going to deploy. Which means we deploy dead centre. Battle cruiser to the centre of the formation. Sword frigates forward. Yes, Admiral. And you are immediately going to deploy. Activating tactical cogitators. All right, where are they? Okay. We need to ID their transports as quickly as possible. Ship so I know ready. where to focus my attention. I can see why some people reckon the Nova Cannon's OP, given its range. Ship ready. At your command. Okay, where are you? Ah, there's a lot of enemy ships. Enemy ship sighted! Okay, we have visual on one transport. And a cruiser. Awaiting orders. So let's Targeting start with you. enemy vessel. Fire a torpedo barrage. Awaiting orders. Nova cannons are almost ready to fire. Deploy stasis bomb. Target the Nova cannon fire. Lovely. Your orders? Sword frigates, break off, break off. Cruising speed set. At your command. Battle cruiser, go to 9,000. Awaiting orders. Yes, Admiral. Okay, that's another Feel cruiser. the wrath of the Imperial Navy. Cruising speed set. Focus fire. Ship ready. Enemy ship sighted. Resuming normal function. Right, successful. Enemy ship sighted. Yes, I love the fact that if they're teeny tiny ships, their immediate uh, instinct is Enemy to go straight to their uh, yeah, we close are the in night flight range. Damn it, missed that. Enemy ship sighted. Target boarding action. Enemy ship sighted! Transports are priority targets. We only need to kill four of the bloody things. Resuming right. normal functions. Well, this has turned into a complete cluster. Activating they, uh... tactical cogitators! How can you not warp to there? It's well within your detection range. Engaging! Activating tactical cogitators. Swing around. Awaiting orders. Gotta love the fact we're always losing bloody uh, things. I can never figure out why. Ship ready. See, up there, not All even trying to fight. They're just running, which is actually a sensible thing to do. Activating tactical cogitators. Battle cruiser, target enemy and fire. Cruising speed set. Set cruising. Set cruising. Torpedoes right up his flank. Awaiting orders. Damage team. Still haven't actually killed now. any of their sonic transports yet. Now we have. Cruising speed set. One kill. Enemy transport ship destroyed. 
still only got two of the light things on sensors, mind. Your orders? Underway! Go investigating that, because I suspect that's another. Your orders! Okay, disrupt the bomb, take out its. Shield, and that one's gone. That's your command! Engines hot! But yeah, by spreading their transports out, they made it very difficult for me to actually pick them all off. Which is kind of ruthless tactics. Right. The thing is, orc tactics usually amount to oh, mass everybody orders. together in a big horde and charge at the enemy. So the fact they're doing something moderately sensible is actually really weird for them. They actually got all their combat ships so just mass straight to a bump and charge. Took them up. We're not going to get them all. One of them's going to get... Actually, we've destroyed three. So, assuming this is a transport, and it has to be based on its position, we Enemy can now win this. Sighted. Macro warp jump. Sorry, micro warp jump. For the Emperor! All ships engage. Look target, target with maximum firepower. Activating tactical cogitators. So target priority yes, one. Admiral. Move to engage. God damn it, if I tell you to shoot something, you bloody shoot it, Captain. Acquiring new vector. This is gonna be Cruising close. Cruising speed set. Activating tactical cogitators. Full speed. Feel the wrath of the Imperial Navy. Lance fire right up his prow. Activating Torpedoes fire. Cogitators. Nova cannon. Fire. Your orders? Cruising speed set. Come on, you're almost in range for a lightning strike. But you didn't need it. Lovely job, everyone. That's your command. Enemy transports destroyed. Woohoo! That was close. Thankfully, the Imperial Navy is all kinds of awesome. And 252 renown for that, and we've advanced to rank 6. Lovely. Lovely, lovely job. Yeah, because the advantage of the Imperial ships is they're tough as hell. So they can stand up to a hell of a lot. I'm just going to quickly save. Resume there. Go to Port Morse. So let's see what we've unlocked. Battlecruiser slot, battlecruiser slot, battlecruiser slot. Damn. Oh well. Heavy cruisers are still good, so yeah, might as well. Alright, what do we want? Um, no, the cannon ships are actually kind of useful in certain situations. Could be tempted to uh, build one entirely build her out with lances, mind. Yes, Nova Cannon and Lances. That's a pretty good combination. Go you know, for a sort of mid range attack vessel. What skills does it need? It needs. Uh, no, you've got massive damage against enemy hulls, so. Take it with plasma bombs and with stasis bombs. I think. Okay, don't know how much I'll use it, but it's there if I need it. Yeah. An additional battle cruiser would have been more useful, but I'll take what I can get. Alright, that's all we can do for this turn, so I'll end the turn. 143, M41. Admiral Spire, several systems are asking for immediate assistance from the Imperial Navy. Roger that, I'm routing Lord requests Admiral. to you from the Adeptus Astartes, the Inquisition, Battlefleet Agrippina and the Adeptus Mechanicus. Helping these groups strengthens our cause in defending Aha. the Gothic sector. 
You'll need to move quickly. These systems asking for our help can't hold out for long against a determined enemy assault. Roger that. Remember, Spire, you can't save everyone. Stay focused on the systems most important for the war effort. I understand, Lord Admiral. I will respond to these calls for assistance as swiftly as possible. Favors, you can now use your renown to grant your line ships the help of one of the four factions of the Imperium. Favors give unique skills and upgrades. Helping Space Marines and Imperial Navy fleets winning a battle reduces the cost of their favors. Successfully defending Omasai Temples and Inquisition Bastions reduces the cost of their favors. Single ship can only have one favor. Okay. Let's go have a look, shall we? Let's start by looking at our battle cruiser. Because obviously, start with the big guy. So, the Inquisition. Inquisition, a powerful secret agency of the Imperial, responsible for guarding the souls of humanity. The purpose of the Inquisition are to destroy. Okay. So, favor bonuses. Designated enemy ship signal is identified. Each crew member gets one free crew point. Yeah, promising, promising. Captain's Mechanicus. Plus one upgrade slot to the ship. That would be handy. And. Ship gains one skill slot. Not as useful. Imperial Navy. Reinforcements. Cobra class escort ships enters the battle as reinforcements. The player has to deploy the ship within a range of ships. Okay, that's potentially useful. The ship is immune to insubordination. And Adeptus Astartes. Terminator Lightning Strike. Terminator Lightning Strike replaces the basic Lightning Strike. One assault action to the Lightning Strike. So, yeah, it's better than basic ones. And Space Marines. Plus 10 to its troop value. Yeah, I figured that would be what uh, Space Marines would do. I can't afford any of them yet because they cost uh, smack a, you know, they cost a whole bunch of renown. But uh, I also know they changed the appearance of the ships. It would be nice if you could see what appear, you know, what it's going to do to their appearance before you uh, actually upgrade them. But uh, yeah, some of those are promising sounding. Out of curiosity, if I go to just my light cruiser, yes, I could actually afford this because it's only 200. I'm not going to do it because I want to save up the money and uh, upgrade my battle cruiser, obviously. But uh, yeah, and again, it's basically the same. So. So yes, who's the guy who I upgraded his teleporters on? There was definitely at least one guy who's uh, teleport quality. Ah, it was you, wasn't it? Which means turning you into an Adeptus Astartes uh, heavy cruiser would actually be useful. Should we do it? I mean, it's 400 renown, which is most of what we've got. So it's a case of, do we do that now or do we save up I think we save up if I'm honest because I want my battle cruiser to get you know, first crack at the uh, significant favor upgrades but uh, that's that's fine so yep yeah. um yeah looking at my timer that's probably a good point to end this part if I'm honest so I think I will say thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next